Hello, I am Andrew Ali, President and Chief Executive Officer of Africa Finance Corporation. Welcome to our 2015 Annual Report and Results. Our long-term vision is to be the leading African institution in infrastructure financing on the continent and to foster economic growth and the industrial development of African countries. 2014 was an exceptional year for AFC with significant fee income generated by the financial close of the SENPAR project. Construction also began on this project early in 2015 in Tema, Ghana. Investments in the project development asset class had a very positive impact on the value and performance of our total investments. In 2015, however, challenging market conditions have impacted our business in various ways. 2015 was characterized by a decline in commodity prices, in particular oil, minerals, and soft commodities. Oil prices remained under pressure owing to a supply glut, a situation which saw prices fall by approximately 50% during the year. In addition, China's demand for raw material imports decreased as the country's economy rebalances away from manufacturing to services. The decline in Chinese and broader emerging market demand, tepid economic expansion in Europe, and the moves in the US to increase interest rates all negatively impacted African economies and their foreign exchange reserves resulting in currency deterioration across major African markets. This has led to tighter credit markets and a slowdown in international investment on the continent. Despite this difficult operating environment, in 2015, AFC delivered strong underlying operating results, achieving 25% growth in its balance sheet, with total assets exceeding 3.2 billion US dollars. Net interest income increased by 39% to 108.4 million US dollars with net interest margins growing to 4.4%, a 7% improvement over the previous year. Fees, commission, and other income, however, declined largely due to one-off revenues of 46 million US dollars recorded in 2014. In April 2015, as part of our efforts to diversify our funding base, the corporation successfully issued its maiden euro bond of 750 million US dollars as part of an established $3 billion euro bond global medium term notes program. Reception to the bond was strong and it was six times oversubscribed, positioning AFC in the capital markets as a strong African credit. Although no risk asset was impaired during 2015, the corporation's first portfolio impairment charge of 26.7 million US dollars was recorded in light of increased default risks, particularly in the corporation's oil and gas risk asset portfolio. Overall, the corporation remains strongly capitalized and very liquid with approximately $1 billion of liquidity as at December 2015. This positions AFC to take advantage of investment opportunities that may arise in 2016. The corporation recorded total comprehensive income of 70.3 million US dollars for the year, representing a decline of 38% compared to 2014. Africa's share of global private infrastructure investment has remained small at less than 5%. However, Africa's demand for robust infrastructure assets remains persistently high. AFC was created to address this infrastructure investment gap. During 2015, the corporation continued to grow, expanding its geographical presence and membership base and proactively developing long-term infrastructure from inception to completion. Our core differentiating proposition 
is project development across all aspects of the cycle. And AFC finances, manages, and develops projects that are crucial to driving economic development and social impact on the continent. I hope you enjoy reading our 2015 annual report. Thank you very much.